We're here. We're here with some relatively new news. Bonus shave merch. As you see, Dr. Komar on her stunt North Day exclusive gear. I don't know how he's getting it and I ain't getting it, but you know, maybe he got <laughs> he got the plugs apparently, man. But, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me let me let me But anywho, we have some interesting news coming up out of was it Nashville? Tennessee. Tennessee. Dr. Komar, what's going on in Nashville, Tennessee, for the folks who need to know what they need to know? I don't know, man. I guess uh, Hitler is on the rise again. Man, we out here with the neo-Nazis walking the streets during Black History Month. I don't know how we let this shit happen. They are literally having a Nazi march. Literally having a Nazi march here in downtown Nashville. They're out here protesting. I'm guessing they protesting. They walking the streets out here with a rally. We don't see no cops. We don't see no government. I didn't see Donald Trump at all. White supremacists talking about um, white supremacists, neo Nazism, um, talking about deporting folks and just racial hatred. I don't know, but they out here, they out here in numbers with their face covered. We couldn't have did that. About two dozen. I don't see no horses. I don't see no white hoodies or nothing. So I ain't gonna call them the KKK. But they out here in numbers. They out here protesting with their flags and they out here in numbers. Let's put it out there. Some people were shocked to see these images of Nazis marching through downtown Nashville over the weekend. Others say at a time of unprecedented anti-Semitism, it doesn't come as a big surprise. It makes sense why they have their face covered because, you know, some of this might be some of our elected officials. Some of these might be police officers. Some of these people might be, you know, your school teachers. A local bar. Yeah, you know, doctors too, man. It might be a few people in there that we all know who they are, but with the mask on, we don't know who they are. This morning, we're getting insight from the American Jewish Committee's State of Anti-Semitism 2023 report. It shows one quarter of American Jews have been the target of anti-Semitism in the last year, and young Jews were more likely to report being the target. Nearly eight in 10 American Jews who heard about the October 7th Hamas terrorist attack say they felt less safe in the U.S. since the massacre. A catastrophe, a tragedy, however you want to put it, on the month of what black people supposed to have the most respect, man. They over here showing out Nashville, Tennessee. Over two dozen was going through, parading through the city before they finna start running to, well, excuse me, until they ran into a little bit of drama. Nothing too crazy of the sort, but just a little bit. Dr. Comar, at the end of the day, man, what do we make of this situation? I don't know what to make about it, man. You know, y'all know what year it is, right? Y'all do know what year it is. So I don't know if this a a, a a anti a anti a anti you know what I'm whoa, saying whoa, whoa. the antics to get to the polls to get y'all to go to the polls or to not get y'all to go to the polls but y'all do understand what happened let's say four years ago at the end of the election y'all see what's going on right now pushing toward the election so you just keep your eyes open of everything that's happening right now per se, going into these these elections and what's going on around the, 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 the votes going on right now. So I honestly say this is what's, what's partaking right now as the, the voters start going out to vote. Early elections are starting to happen, and these, I'm just going to call them people because they are people, are starting to make heads turn as we start to go toward these elections. Hey. Hey, hey, I know you seen them uh them January sixes that Trump dropped. You you got your bear? Bro, don't do me like that. I, bro, you know, you, you know my closet is full of all the, the <laughs> good stuff and you know some of the bad stuff like that, but I dare not wear the 45s at all. I will bro. not. Hey. Hey, hey, happy, 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 Let's see the signature. All right. Bro, you ain't get the January 6s, bro? No, Trump, I didn't bro? get the, No, I did not. I did, there is no gold <laughs> shoes besides the Air Max in Yo. my closet, bro. I did not get none of those. Not bro. at all.
He didn't get none of those shoes, bro. Hey, yo, I had to get him. I had to get him, bro. I had to get him. This fool had $65 million, and the next day he go out there and buy his own shoe, man. Come on, man. That's, bro, that's I, had to, I had bro. to get the January 6s, bro. You know they're going to resell for like you they know, go, a they are. couple of dollars. But you know bro. what? You know what? That's right. Go out there and buy y'all stuff. At first, on the Anti Network, they're going to resell. We sell them out here for the problem. Bro, they already sold out, bro. Sorry, <laughs> they go, they go, bro. They go. If you bro. know where to get them, you know where to get them. Trust me, I can take go find them on the goat stocks X, and you know where to go get them. You had them yeah. first, right here. Oh man, wait, let me find them for y'all right now. Now nah, I'm playing. Uh, oh man, empty that work, man. Empty. Where's your face, you coward? Show me your face. Show me your face, you coward. All of you. Coward. State Representative Justin Pearson shared this video on social media showing the Nazis outside the state capitol. He said it, quote, this is the hate that the Tennessee House GOP fosters from their positions of power in the General Assembly. I'm disgusted that Nazis are comfortable doing this, but I am not surprised, end quote.